What's up guys? I'm Rick Harrison and this is my pawn shop. Honestly, I really need to stop trying to be funny in the intros. Today, we're going to be doing the tick function, which is kind of the f the function that you would use to like move things around smoothly, stuff like that. So, I want to just very quickly discuss the um sort of drawbacks to the tick function and let's begin. So, if we have a function called tick, which is called every time a new frame is drawn to the screen, what happens if we make a gun that fires once every three ticks? Someone with a frame rate of 30 FPS will be able to fire the gun 10 times per second, and someone with a frame rate of 60 FPS is going to be able to fire the gun 20 times a second, and people are going to be fuming. I mean, seriously, people are going to be so unhappy. If you've ever seen those kids and they go on forums and they rant and rave and they're like ah, the, the DPS and the movement speeds are tied to frame rate and you know all that stuff I'm sure you've probably met some of those guys um, that's because the people making the game uh, didn't do it properly and they tied movement speed or damage or anything like that they tied it to the frame rate and not to a consistent time, a time that's consistent across all machines, and this gives you big problems. So what is this magical time that is consistent across all machines? Because if we have a time that's consistent across all machines, which we'll call delta time, uh, if we have that time, what if we want to say, you know, once every delta time or whatever, fire the gun, well that would be easier to do because with a delta time it's it's always the same, you know, I, <laughs> I'm trying to explain this and I'm not very good at it, but anyways, you'll see what I mean in just a second, so let's open up pickup, inside of our pickup class we've got this uh, functionality right here, and this is called every frame, whatever's inside of this function gets called every frame, and you'll notice delta times there, so let's go into delta time, shall we? Um, I'm going to say, um, uh, new location, so I'm going to make my pickups move, because why not, equals get actor location, new location, dot z, plus equals delta time, Delta time, by the way, is an incredibly small number, so I'm going to times it by 100. Otherwise, our um, items are barely going to be moving at all. And then we're just going to say um, set actor location to the new location. So all we're doing is moving the z-axis up, so the, the item should float up in the air. Uh, provided I haven't majorly screwed anything up, so let's go compile now. There we go, and if I hit play, everything's floating up in the air. And because I use delta time, it's going to be consistent across all machines. So it doesn't matter if you're running some crappy Intel Atom computer that you bought for $100 and it's awful, or if you're running a supercomputer from Japan, this is going to float up at the same speed, which is exactly what we want uh, to, to happen, right? I've also got this log happening, and um, you guys don't have to do this, but I've just got this displaying. Delta time is 0 0.006 for me. Now that is because my frame rate is at 150 FPS. So that's 0 0.006 repeated. So if I get a calculator here, 1 divided by 0 0.006 gives us about 150, which is my frame rate. So all the delta time is, is it is how many, it's 1 divided by um, frames per second, I think? Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's, it's just 1 divided by frames per second, and that way you get something consistent. To prove this to you guys, um, I'm going to go ahead and press the console. We'll go t.maxfps equals 50. So now, 
um, it's at 0 0.008, which is a different time. Maybe I didn't do that right. Did I do that right? T dot max FPS 50. Ah, there we go. Right. And so as you can see, uh, we get 0 0.02, which if you go ahead and do the math, uh, that goes into 150 times, meaning uh, FPS is 50. So that's delta time, that's tick, and that's how it works. Pretty simple stuff. Delta time is a consistent time, so you don't have people posting on the forum going, Oh my god, your game sucks. You know, it's tied to frame rates. None of that. So that's basically it. Um, we'll see you guys in the next video, I guess.